Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're gonna to be shooting Hornady Subsonic with the 250 grain Sub X bullet in 350 Legend. And here's your box for that Hornady Subsonic 250 grain 350 Legend load. Here is all of your factory promo info. You can pause and read all that if you would like. I would like to note that it says designed to expand at velocities as low as 900 feet per second. It'll be cool to see if we get expansion because we will be shooting this out of a 16 inch barreled rifle. And it doesn't give a barrel length, but here is your velocity information. So it's not going much above 900 feet per second even at the muzzle from probably a 20 inch barrel is what they tested this from, but I really have no idea. There it is, here's your ammo. Nice, good, clean looking brass. There is your little flex tip down in that hollow point. Let's see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 350 Legend, of course. It's got a 16 inch barrel up top. I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my 20 round magazine cuffs. You pop that open, you got a 20 round magazine close at hand right there. Really helps turn the Ruger American Ranch into the perfect truck gun, camp gun, anything you could need it for. Coming around to the other side, I've got my whitetail deer design on this one. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. I will link it in the description and in the pinned comment. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting the Hornady Subsonic 250 grain Sub X bullet out of the 350 Legend. And I really tried hard uh, to capture more than one bullet for you guys. I, I wound up firing the entire box and only caught one bullet because, uh, well, we'll talk about that in a second actually. But here it is right here, the one bullet that I caught and it penetrated to about... 28 and a half inches and it did not expand at all i'm sure down here at 100 yards it's hitting below the manufacturer um, advertised 900 feet per second where it will expand at it's probably going somewhat slower than that at impact down here and then these two bullets are are not this load this is the load i tested prior to this and i went ahead and just left my block set up because the sub x load was my last one for the day and i was totally out of gel blocks but come over here the front block is totally shredded i was nailing it and they would just zing right out the top out the side um here is one of the sub x bullets but i actually hit the table with this one right down here and it zinged up into the block and it all broke up so we're definitely not counting that and something that i've noticed um i'm a little out of breath it's about 110 degrees out here trying to get it done for y'all but um something that i have noticed with subsonic loads in in any caliber really but so far that i've tested 300 blackout and 350 legend the subsonic bullets are very very unstable when they hit something when they hit gel they they veer off in different directions they don't tend to i don't know carry their momentum in one direction They're, they become unstable and they turn and tumble and you wind up not catching them in gel blocks it's just really hard i've tried to do it with 300 blackout now 350 legend there was a couple subsonic 300 blackout loads i couldn't even you know post videos for because i wasn't able to catch a single bullet they would zing all the way through three blocks or just flip out the side anyway sort of an aside um, but i figured you might want to know and let's go ahead and take a look at the velocities for that hornady subsonic 250 grain sub x bullet out of the 350 legend our high was 1019, our low was 859, that's a pretty good spread, and our average was 968. And here is that lone Hornady Subsonic 250 grain Sub X bullet recovered uh, for the 350 Legend. We'll just hit the metrics real quick. There's not a whole heck of a lot to talk about. Weight retention, 100%. It still weighs 250 grains. Expansion, zero expansion. It looks like you could load this thing in brass and fire it again. 
Velocity wise, the high was 1019, the low was 859, so a pretty wide spread there. The average being 968 feet per second versus the factory build velocity of 1050. So we came in 82 feet per second slow. Whoop de doo, it's a subsonic bullet. It's even more subsonic in this case, so it is what it is. And then penetration wise, for this one bullet we were able to recover. We got it at 28 and a half inches. So this thing kind of did what subsonic bullets do. Hey, all time for my final thoughts on that Hornady subsonic 250 grain sub X load out of the 350 legend. I've got my cheat sheet here to look at. This is going to be really quick because we only recovered one bullet and it basically did nothing on impact. It started at 250 grains. It stayed 250 grains. 100% weight retention. No surprise. It didn't expand at all. Zero expansion. Velocity. We were real close to factory spec. 82 feet per second slow. But who cares? It's subsonic. If it's going even slower, hey, maybe that's better. Penetration wise, 28 and a half inches. No surprises. It's a pretty heavy bullet with no expansion it's gonna punch deep and then kinetic energy wise with a 250 grain bullet averaging 968 feet per second which is what we measured as the average we're looking at 520 foot pounds of energy that's sort of about like a strong 45 acp load from a pistol um i gotta be honest with y'all i really don't care to test subsonic loads it's not very applicable to me or really anybody else. If you're hunting something with a 350 Legend or anything else, I don't think subsonic loads are really ever the best choice. If you're hunting like wild hogs at night with suppressors and you want to pick off as many as you can and you're at close range and you can do headshots right at the base of the ear, yeah, they have sort of an application there, but to me, they don't really have a hunting application outside of that or some other really specialized stuff like maybe calling in coyotes at night and again you want to be really quiet so you can you know take out the whole pack or something but in the real world these these sort of subsonic loads at least to me just my opinion for what it is you can tear me up in the comments if you want I don't care um if y'all haven't read the comments on some of my videos go back and do it it's complete anarchy on some of them and you know all it does is help me so by all means keep hating for those that are haters but um yeah i'm never going to use this load what would i use it for nothing um there you go but if you've used this load for something let me and everybody else know in the comments how it did for you and how you liked it hey if you enjoy these videos check out my website masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you i've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and i would love to make you something the link is in the video description and check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.